Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on Stamperia's Desire, and uh, this is page one. So page one, we're gonna start with two pockets, and these are gonna be sideways mounted, and these are five and a half inches across and six inches tall, five and a half by six. So you're gonna do two of those, and you're gonna score three sides. So you're gonna score half inch, half inch, half inch. And then when you're done, you're going to have a finished five by five panel. It's gonna go just like so. So I don't have tape on the bottom, so let me do that real quick. I'm not going to need my glue for a minute. So let's cap it. Okay, now this is going to get mounted flush to the bottom and to the top. If I can find my pick tool. I don't see it at the moment. Oh, here it is. Hiding. I'm just butting it straight up against the trim piece here. And then I want to make sure it's flush with the edge and press it into place. We're gonna do that one more time. Make sure your pocket is facing out. So the spine's gonna be over here. We want the, um, the inserts to pull out away from the book. There we go. So now we've got our two pockets. We're going to have an insert here. This insert is seven inches by four and three quarters. Seven by four and three quarters. You're gonna need two of those. And I only cut one, so let me cut my other one. Okay, so the papers that I prepared comes from, what does it come from? It comes from the background pack. So this is from the 12 by 12 background pack. And it actually goes like that. I know it's hard to tell, but I just remember how I cut it apart. Now, I trimmed these originally. I wasn't going to put a pocket in, so I'm going to need to scale these down just a tiny bit. They're a little too big. So, let me take a little bit off the edges here. That should do it. Let's see. That's gonna go there. This is gonna go here. Like that. So. so this will be the liner for the pocket and this will be the cover of the pocket. And it looks like I can, eat. oh, did I do that wrong? I surely did. Look, I cut that too short. 
So I've talked about this before, so I miscut this. So I'm going to attach, put it back together with scotch tape and retrim it. Um, Cause like that was the wrong measurement. Too much of a hurry. Let me find my regular scotch tape to, to, um, to mend it. As long as you don't ink the edges, you can put it together and pretty much make the seam disappear. <laughs> it's so funny, there's, there's a, uh, a line in the pattern, but it's slightly off from the line that I just cut, but it's very darn close. So I'm just gonna finish adhering this. This tape is so cheap, it doesn't wanna tear. But I refuse to throw, throw it away. I'm almost done with it. Next time I won't be so cheap. Okay, you wanna go all the way to the edge because uh, you don't want it to lift up between the two. Okay, now I need to get my act together and trim this in the right spot. Which would be over here. Okay, now we're ready. So there's where I'd originally trimmed it. Part of that's going to go into the pocket. Okay, I think I'm ready to put it down now. We shall see. Take my inserts out. Okay, I only had one in. I think I need to trim this down a little more, yeah.
got our two inserts. I want to do something closer to a solid with the inserts. So let's see. I wish there was a stripe in here somewhere, but there's not. Okay, let's see. What do you think about that? I like it. Seven. My four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. What's it? Seven? Or seven and a half? do six. So I made this six inches, uh, four and three quarter, four and five eighths by six. And then I'm going to do a decorative strip on the bottom. And that way I can get two panels covered and still have a six by 12 left over. Make sense? Hopefully. So then the trim, the question with the trim is going to be, which end is it going to be on? The exposed end or the tucked end? I don't know. Let's go ahead and get this part down, though, because that won't really matter. I think I want this um, more solid part to be exposed. But um, I was going to chomp my corners, and I forgot. So we'll just do without this time. I'll work it in somewhere else. Okay. on the bottom. I'm considering making it a little bit shorter, but I like I like how far it comes out. So let's do something like this. I'm trying to see if I've already got some polka dots somewhere. Yep. Let's use this. it in the corner.
marked it and immediately lost it. Four by eight. Or four and five eighths. I like it. I think I might go this way. These were some scraps I had. Yeah. Okay, and I'm just gonna repeat that process on the other one. to decide which side I like better. That side or this side. I like this one. Dots down. Okay, there we go. So there's our insert. in and that makes for a nice contrast with this very busy pattern so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one I'll do that offline and that's it for page one guys so we have these nice beautiful pockets on page one I'll be back soon and we'll work on page two